This video is not for persons under the age of 13. By watching this video, you are declaring that you are above 13 years of age. Hello and welcome to today's painting. What I will be doing is looking at this image that I've got off a free website. Uh, a slightly strange arrangement of a person playing a guitar here. We've got his head there and the rest of his body wrapping round. Maybe strange but it's a fairly pleasing compositional arrangement we'll have a go at this I'm not going to use the same colours as the image but uh, I'm going to try and be expressive and I'm going to try to work with brushes like this which are they're not small brushes these so I'm going, I'm going to be thinking about big expressions of brush strokes so that's, that's where I'm going to be um, really concentrating most of my effort today. Before we make a start, uh, the paper that we're using is Buckingford by St Cuthbert's Mill. It's uh, cold press rough, 300 and... 300 grams or GSM that's 140 pounds uh, in the other measurement and it's really nice paper I like to use this regular it's uh, 15 by 11 so it's a reasonable sized piece of paper I believe that's a quarter sheet of uh, paper the paints I'm using is me um, white nights in this nice little tin and you've already seen my brushes so I've got an ache um, a big pointed mop this uh, pointed oval I believe that one's called by um, Pro Art and a Jackson's uh, quill pointed mop so they're all fairly big so let's make a start and get some washes down. So I'll make a start with a, a reasonably big brush. And I'm going to uh, get a yellowy colour. I'm going to go a bit dry brush this time round. And I'll let a little bit of that come in there and, and, and to there as well. And a little bit there. And we'll have a little bit of that round there. Now we've uh, placed a bit of colour there. We get a bit of colour like that. And uh, the top of a, a guitar is a uh, like a an orangey brown so I'm going to mix some orange and a bit of uh, yellow ochre and let's hope that that might make it a bit more yellow ochre and uh, round there I'm gonna and this is just to get the the rough set of colors in and see if we can get some nice blends at the other side of it I'm See if I can darken that up a bit. Just give me some of that up. There we go. A bit more blue. Yep. Make this uh, a bit wetter here. Thank you. So it gives you a rough idea that that's going to be wet. Right. His shirt, uh, it's black in the original image but uh, I just 
felt like I wanted to introduce more colour into the into the painting itself so I'm going to uh, make that red but I'm going to be very very careful what I'm doing here because I don't want to go into the face which is there that'll do for now and then I'm going to be equally as careful there and then he's got a bit of a beard and that comes round there and that's the rest of his shirt and I'm going to just another thing that it does there is that's a part of his shirt but that will be in the darkness so I'm, I'm just trying to be ever so careful about what I'm doing with regards to that and then bring that round that's the end of his shirt and because he's average guy he is average guy so you can have a pair of jeans on I'm going to make that go a lot darker so I'm going to mix it a, a bit of blue and um, a bit of brown and uh, make that a bit there darker we'll worry about how dark things are later on in painting I'm just trying to get some semblance of where we are in the painting and uh, just get some more like that round here again I think I'll continue on in that theme of uh, it being bluish and I'll just really just bring that like that um, now I'll, I'll just uh, let that flow in a little bit and mostly now we've got the um, the painting mostly blocked in I'm going to see if I can uh, get that blocked in like that so I'm debating with myself uh, what colour I ought to do uh, he's got a little cap on uh, I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna put a yellow over it to start with but I might put uh, in fact I will put a blue on it and the cap will be blue eventually Th this area will be a lot darker this is just a provisional uh, starting point so that's his cap there uh, the only other bit that I want to do at this moment in time is he's got he's got a, a fringe of hair there but uh, there are one or two other bits to do um, that's your dark inside of your uh, your guitar and I'm just going to put a bit here to represent the um, fretboard I believe it's called and that's that, that is really the uh, vast majority of the um, painting blocked in for what I want it anyway let's get a, a darkened area there for part of his face uh, also a bit there and uh, one that sweeps up like that and we're virtually done with regard to the blocking in I'll make sure that's darker there so 
let's just uh, get some colour into that. Don't want to leave anything out. And, uh, want to differentiate that now once I've got to this next stage I want to leave this to go dry and that's what we'll do shortly and then we can start on a new layer Just, uh, Tinge of uh, where I've missed out there. All that there will be dark actually if I think about it. So let's. Uh, and so will this here. It, uh, this pick board. And just uh, roughly get it in. We can pick these details out later on. So, literally we've got the main body of the painting blocked in how we want it. I'll just leave it to dry now for a, a goodly period of time and then we can get on with the next layer. So, although uh, this, this one here is a bigger brush than that, uh, what this has as an advantage is it's got this pointed shape to it so I can control this a lot more than I can with this this is good for blocking areas in but not particularly detailed so we're going to put this to one side now and um, we'll start using this for a bit and then obviously as we get tighter and more detailed in uh, what we're doing we'll uh, bring these two into play so let's um i'll first of all get a fresh pot of water because that's looking a bit dingy right want to get some um some reds in i'm gonna get some of that red put that there and i'm gonna uh, get this more orangey red and uh, create an hybrid red Because that's as lightest red what we've got there. We want to start thinking about getting deeper tonal values into the painting. So let's just uh, make sure there's no dust. And that's all dry now. So I've got a really big brush. And I'm going to, especially around this area. And uh, around here there will also be quite a dark area. Being careful that I don't go over that. Uh, in the, it's a really delicate area of painting that, what, that I want to keep as crisp as I possibly can. Now, I'm going to get some more of that red and a little bit of that orange. bit more of that orange and uh, it's going to be lighter at this end because light's hitting it more so just after the after the nose area um, we will put some of that red in but it's going to be an awful lot less than uh, the area around here. And what I do want to do with that is try and make a, a dark brown. See if I can get some that will work nicely. So I'm, I'm getting some ultramarine blue and some ready kind of colours and uh, 
more towards the dark blue so I've got a really a really dark brown there and I'm hoping that that's going to like kind of fade in a little bit and that's that end of the uh, guitar like that because the underside the, the side of the guitar is uh, generally a, a deeper brown colour it's just the top of the the guitar that tends to be that lighter yellowy orange and uh, I'm hoping once we get a bit further into the painting that we can uh, deal with that as well in fact while we're doing that I'm going to dry my brush off I'm going to dab it dab it off a bit and start to add some areas of interest in it like that so that it's not all boring and just one yellow and round here it's going to be dark anyway so I'm going to get some of that um, that what we've just used here and paint that area because obviously his hands shading part of that so it starts giving us an idea that there's a there's some a bit of shade going in there so it's as early expressions of shade and where that's shaded also this underside of the arm is going to be as well like that. and various other bits of the hand that inside of the hand there and like that and we can we can use that as well there using the very very tip of it and less less so as you get more around to this side see if I can uh, blend a bit of that red into the uh, There we go. And while we're at it, and we've got that colour, I'm going to start getting his eye, uh, eyebrows in. Um, a little bit there. Uh, that colour, but in a, a slightly... You may not see this. It's dark, but it's... And then I'm going to take a little bit of that orange and uh, again put put some emphasis in on that dark area and I forgot to put a bit of there in that there part of his hair. And uh, now we're starting to get various bits of uh, detailing in with a reasonably dry brush. I'm going to start getting little bits like that. Obviously, we're going to be doing a lot of these um, layers. So it's and just before I forget that might be a bit too strong but I'm gonna put that there and there you go. That's easier, but uh, we'll we'll deal with that later on. That was just nip a bit out there and there. So it's starting to come along and getting some bits of detail and then I've got things that I can work with later on on that. Um, and it's time to start coming down to a, a smaller brush. I know it's still a fairly large brush this, but uh, it's a step down from the last one. So 
here we can be a bit more aggressive in his uh, strokes so again I'm going to be um, making a very deep and dark colour with a mixture of um, a, a, a deep blue and any dark brown that you've got available to you and that, that should make a, a fairly dark colour that um, this is going to be for the most extreme bits where they are so you've got a bit there that's going to be a, a shadow of the guitar it's only got a small shadow but nevertheless it's still there so you go like that and what you have to do with this is this is a, a piece of material it's his shirt so I don't just paint it as a block you've got to think about the undulations of the shirt so when I do, it's not going to be straight like that is the neck the neck will go if I can get some paint on it it will undulate according to the shirt and now that's undulating so that goes like that it, it, and all this area again will be dark because because partly the um, shadow off of that and uh, partly because there's a lot of rest it's restricted in this area anyway because of various different things uh, shapes like that and we'll uh, emphasize that kind of thing put in a dark area there right next door uh, where the face is will emphasize the fact that that's three dimensional and I want to start uh, working with that a bit more as well and uh, while we're working with this again let's see if we can get Some more of his um, his beard in. and uh, continuing on with the theme of darkening things and trying to uh, while I'm doing this I'm trying to uh, find connecting areas yeah, that's a bit of his hair as well isn't it So fundamentally the the um, main body of the actual painting itself is quite dark. Now that's the reason why I put this yellow bit up here and we've got this area here that I'm going to try to keep as light as I possibly can without it being boring. Um, because this bit down here is going to be exceptionally dark and uh, as I say that I'm, uh, I've, I've made this area although this is like a warm brownie red I'm going to make this a, a cool blue uh, dark but let them blend into one another at this junction here and it all feels like one thing then and uh, we'll continue on with again you've got to leave it for so long uh, because you need to 
let it dry for a bit. And I've got a look at that there as well. That's the anchor bar, I believe. Um, uh, see if I can get away with pulling that in like that. Might work. I've what I've done is I've just got a bit of yellow ochre and uh, put it in with a little bit of purpley colour. So it, it's not as hard on the eyes. which clearly helps us now find where that and I'm, I'm working fairly dry bush here So we're starting to get there. I'm going to leave this area to uh, dry for a, a, a bit of time. I'll see if I can get some more dark there. And uh, keep emphasising that, that that's a, a black plastic... Um, Thing that they call a scratch plate. Now, let's see if I can uh, start uh, emphasizing where the uh, fretboard is going to be by just doing horizontal lines across like that, and that will help uh, as we go along with uh, identifying where the frets are going to be. Not that it's critically important to get the frets absolutely right, it's just that uh, it, it, it helps, it, it's all part of the narrative of the painter. So, uh, uh, one of the things that they do have at this edge, but I'm not going to be. Um, they have like a little pattern around the edge there and, and I'm not going for detail in this painting it's a big brush painting I just want to give you the idea that there, there is some kind of pattern there and that's as much as I'm going to do with it so let's just uh, uh, graduate that a little bit and uh, once I've done this and softened these edges here that round there a bit I'm gonna leave this to dry I keep saying that don't I <laughs> uh, but I have got one more bit I keep forgetting about these and I shouldn't really in saying that most of it's shrouded in darkness so um, won't be too stressed out about it A little bit more. And we're really starting to get into the real dark areas now. I mean, it, it, just very. If you, you can see how uh, what I'm doing with regards uh, my brush strokes, they're very. You know, they're not. They're not ones that are going to be. Uh, very detailed bits of work 
Right, one last bit before I do leave it to dry for a bit and I'm going to get some of this feathery on in there, won't I? I haven't done an awful lot with this face yet, but I'm going to uh, use that uh, at the end of the painting really and uh, see how I feel about certain things and uh, get that in with a more detailed brush because the face is a key point in this particular painting. Right, we'll let this dry and uh, we'll see how light it dries and then we might need to uh, reapply one or two more coats. Right, so I'll be back when, um, when this is dry and we'll move on to the next stage. So now that's dry. I'm going to start looking at how I can tighten up various areas of the painting so we've got some definition such as the face, uh, this, these hands here, these hands there. There are little bits of the painting that I want to put a little bit more tightness into the painting. So we're going to use this brush here which is, again you might consider this to be a, a large brush but it's the smallest one that I've used up to now on this painting. Now it may be the case that I might also bring this in for extra fine detail but we'll see, we'll see how the painting goes. So let, let's have a look at what it is that we need to do now. And I'm going to do a lot of dry brush work now so uh, off the page you can't see it but uh, let's bring it in. I've got my, my towel here and that helps me control the amount of water that's in that brush. So now I can uh, get hold of some uh, paint like that and in certain areas where I need it I can uh, do bits of um, detailed work. And it's not going to be fundamental. Just see if I can blend that a little bit more into there. Most of the work's done really in that sense. I just want to, uh, there's a little bit of area there that's, I don't know, got a bit of you just got to be careful not to overdo it because you can uh, spoil a good thing if you don't. Um, like that. He has got a moustache which uh, I haven't paid an awful lot of attention to but uh, we'll rectify that. That comes out like that. Don't want to do too much on that again. If it's done, it's done. A um, little bit of darkness in there to emphasise that that's the inner part of the ear. Come back to that in a bit. And uh, I'm not really sure as to whether that is done apart from maybe some detail in there and that's all it is here teeny little bits of detail now I might take a little bit uh, of, of paint out like that just to give her a little bit of texture there you go all nice blends um, we'll see if we can get a little bit of pinkiness there just a bit just a tiny bit 
from that. And again, it's when introducing a new colour, you've got to try and make sure that it blends well with the rest of the the uh, area that you've painted. There you go. Um, teeny bit there. And I think that's the face done. Um, I think that's all. I'm going to do some lost and found. Uh, on that where there's some crisp edges and there's not so crisp edges yeah. and again similar thing there a combination of crisp edges and uh, softened edges Let's see if we can uh, take some of that out I don't want to make it overworked either, that's another thing I want to avoid. So that's that's him done as regards that. Now let's see whether we can um, create a bit more uh, strength of uh, shape uh, in various areas where it needs it, like that for example. Uh, I may take that out for a bit. Um, on the hands. Now I'll see if I can... Uh, what? Well, Take into account this is going to be, if it's strong light at that side, it's going to be fairly silhouetted, so you're not going to see an awful lot of uh, detail because it's going to be mostly in shadow. But you can create um, so there he is, his hands plucking the guitar. Uh, just round here, probably. Line marker. Uh, Re-emphasise them. I'm going to do that again. Because that worked really well last time. So far. Uh -huh. And again, I'm going to uh, do this again. On the fretboard. So you get an idea that there's a fretboard there for the guitar. And then uh, in a bit what we'll do is um, we'll put the strings in. Now you could like get one of those pens and put it in. But I'm, I'm not 100% keen on that kind of look. It looks a little bit too artificial when you do it. So you can either gouache it back in or uh, once this is all dry um, you can get a, a fairly dark colour. Let's now use that uh, this brush which is a fairly precise brush I'm going to uh, you've just got to be bold with this and by the way you don't have to make it so that you can see all the lines just give it an idea of that's And just take into account, I've had years of being a sign writer, so I can do reasonably straight lines. Not that I'm wanting a straight line, because if he's playing the guitar, the strings are going to be vibrating and moving. 
so we have to take that into account. For example, this one here, right? Um, I'm no guitarist, but he's actually pulling the string in, so it's going to go a bit in a bit from where it would be. So I've got two in there. Only thing you've got to make sure that you're doing is that you're not turning the, uh, uh, a six string guitar into a 27 string guitar. by pulling the wrong amount of strings in. Now, just to tie it all in a bit, what I will do is do that and you can't really see where that goes because it's that dark in there it kind of like obscures where the strings are and then it only comes back out as a string and it wants you hit that light a bit but then again when you hit that light a bit that's where you get the dark area there which is a shadow so you don't really actually see it it goes like that and we're really starting to get towards the uh, end of this so I just want to put some bits of uh, skin tone in that I've neglected to uh, do beforehand I don't really want to put a huge amount of emphasis on that because it's too near the end of the um, the painting for me to be overly concerned about it so I'm going to be really basic about it like that. and just give a the far away from the edge it is the better it is to just be very basic with it. Uh, one or two more areas of uh, dark interest there, maybe. And uh, I think we're virtually done. In fact, I think this stage that's where I'm going to leave the painter so what have we done we've been using big brushes today to do bold expressive um, washes of colour over one another and then we've built up darker and darker and darker but less and less area so you know it's it's worth having a go with big brushes don't be scared of them express yourself what have you got to lose so thank you for being with us and uh, we hope to see you in our next watercolor video or whatever video i intend on doing it might not be a watercolor but uh, we'll see you then and thanks again for being here bye Thank you.